How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. Today I've got a unique bird for you guys. We've checked out the older brother of this plane, but this is a great first time airplane for anyone who's looking to build time. Stay tuned. We're gonna check out the Zenith 601. Said, uh, been accused of not covering some beginner airplanes like we used to on the channel, but I thought this was a great opportunity. This plane is sitting in our hangar, it's actually one of the students' airplane, and they bought it to build time in it. What you're looking at here is a 2006 model of the Zenith 601, it's called the CH601XL. Now, it's a special light sport, but generally speaking, Zenith is, uh, is a company that sells kits, and they're well known for short field landings with the 750 model, but Zenith also has a light sport model, and this is the one that started it all. Right now, if you're gonna get the newest model of this airplane, you're looking at, it's called the CH650, and a lot of, uh, some things have been improved on the 650 but it's practically the same airplane one thing i would say i mean i'm not the i'm not i'm not a fan of this color combination but i don't think the owner bought it because of how it looks um but you can see just the design of the aircraft it's like a straight line <laughs> literally and it's very very low to the ground just to show you something to compare it to you can see i'm here there's a bristel in front of us and you can see the height from the ground. This is a lot shorter uh, wheelbase, but as I said, this is a great beginner's airplane for those of you out here, out there who are looking to first get started and buying your first airplane. Um, this technically can be considered a certified airplane. Um, it is a kit, but this is a light sport, a special light sport, and this one is well equipped just to show you Okay, so the cockpit here, you've got enough instrumentation or equipment to fly, well, I wouldn't fly instrument, and you're not supposed to fly instrument in a uh, light sport aircraft, but you can train and simulate instrument conditions and you've got the, the right equipment for it. You've got your radios, that's the Garmin 430 there, equipped with also a uh, Dynon. It's a little bit older. Uh, glass, but it, it is glass nonetheless. Nice radios, and as you can see, very little circuit breakers there. I'm gonna get in that interior space in a minute because I wanna show you the comfort uh, of this thing. Now again, you're looking at a 601. You're not generally looking for the most comfortable airplane. You just want something that burns little gas. You can take up, build time. It's not a fast airplane, which again is good for building time. Uh, this aircraft will travel probably 100 knots. So let's actually get in the airplane. To get in the 601, you've got your step up there. It is a bubble canopy. Those summer days are gonna be interesting. And you've got, you see, you step on that and then you place another foot there. Before I actually go inside, you can see the how wide this wing is. And each wing will hold up to 15 gallons of fuel. All right, now let's get in. Just grab, pull. It is a very small and light airplane. Let's get in here, man. Okay, first things first. From the top here, you can see the seats are inclined. So these seats cannot be adjustable. They're just fixed. But I believe you can adjust the rudder pedals in there. So let me get in. It's actually not bad. This is not bad. So up close and personal here, the electronic switches, main stuff on this side. Standard stick, stick and rudder airplane. You've got, what we got here? Again, the Garmin 430. Uh, some analog screen there, but really this is a glass cockpit in my opinion. And then what's interesting here is you have a fixed pitch, so you've got just your throttle and mixture and this push in and out. Um, and then you've got more electronic switches on this side. Okay, now actually, Last thing I want to show you, your fuel selector. This is a very basic airplane. 
very basic nothing too fancy nothing too shabby uh, your air vents are right there so again those hot summer days you better hope actually I like the size of this air vents typically light sports have very small air vents which can hurt again when you have that bubble canopy it will hurt during the summer but when you got a good amount of airflow coming in you won't feel it much let me turn the camera around so you can see me so in here in the 601 again you can see i'm sitting sort of inclined here again you can't adjust the seats but if you want you can adjust the pedals very comfortable in here honestly i'm not lying about that it is cozy and i imagine if you're on the bigger side you will find it cozy good thing is the owner of this aircraft he's not a white guy he's pretty skinny so he's good in this airplane and this is an airplane you, you may be able to take a passenger uh, it does fall under the light sport limitation so 1320 your maximum gross weight uh, you got to think of how much fuel you have on board and then what your fuel burn is but in terms of just comfort and taking a cross-country trip in this thing not bad honestly not bad at all and like a lot of lights for it, you've got all that room back there for some baggage. All right, let's turn back around and talk some numbers. So while I'm coming down, actually, one turn off, I will say about this airplane. I don't know if you can see what I can see. This here is the flaps. That's the aileron there. But guess what? Remember that step up that I used to get up here? You can't see it. You literally have to kind of nose forward yeah the position of that thing is pretty pretty bad because the, the flap is covering it so i would say the best way to get off this thing is probably turn around and then use your feet to find it because if you try to find it face forward hell if you try to go face you know forward facing you might fall flat on your face so i'm gonna turn around just to be safe and then kind of pull myself down we're out all right let's talk some numbers the zenith 601 if you're in the market for this guys i hate to say it but we are in an inflated marketplace when it comes to airplanes right now and i'll tell you how much you'd be looking at if you were purchasing one of these first let's talk about the power plant you have the conventional continental engine here 100 horsepower your fuel burn with this, six to eight gallons. It's not a road tax. You get better fuel savings with a road tax, but six to eight gallons is not bad. That's in the 150, 152 uh, Cessna, Cessna 150 range. Uh, you have a two blader prop. It's a fixed pitch. So again, you're not worrying about uh, your, the pitch of your prop. It's a tricycle landing gear. Again, perfect time building, trainer, and with your six to eight gallons of fuel per hour, you're going about a hundred knots, okay? Now, how much is this going to cost you? If you're in the market right now, you're looking at 40 to $50,000 for this baby. Now, this, in my opinion, is a well-equipped airplane because I don't think you need anything else uh, for instrument and equipment. You have everything you could possibly need here and i think one neat thing i forgot to mention is you've got an iphone mount right there even though it says iphone 6 you could put an iphone 12 up there so everything you could need ads being and out everything well equipped and forty-seven thousand dollars is what the owner paid for this uh it breaks my heart a little bit because i remember when these planes used to cost twenty-four, twenty-six thousand dollars Again, we are in an inflated market and everything just seems to cost more. But that is what you'd be looking to pay right now for a well-equipped, older light sport aircraft like the Zenith uh, 601. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, my name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching. Guys, I am here at our flight school hangar. So if you are looking to become a pilot or you want to pursue a career as a pilot, make sure you check us out at lookupflightschool.com. And I can't wait to see you again.